What is up, Panda Gang? Welcome back to Random Earth, Random Nation, Random Start Location. We are the California Zulu and doing quite well for ourselves here. We've got a good amount of North America under our control. Doing a bit of warring here against the Ethiopians in the north, sort of Alaska area, but I'm a bit tentative to continue this. I've only got a few troops left after all, and the city of Weldia not doing so hot on the loyalty. Hey, however, though. Look, we got a fully promoted Zulu core here. Hold the line. Adjacent units to a different class get 10 plus combat strength versus cavalry. Okay, so we're going to be crushing any horses that come through. I do need to fix this loyalty though. Victor, where are you, my friend? You're in G Giarda. Um, okay, this place also not doing so hot. It's worse than Wildea well though. We're going to assign you here. Maybe we can even buy out a monument. No, no, no. Monument needs to be repaired. Let's do that. It takes me four turns. And perhaps we'll just need to keep conquering to keep the loyalty up, dude. Anyways, the goal for this episode is to consolidate what's left of the North America here under our control. So Lisbon with the Portuguese, I'm happy enough to let them live. Moreau from the Nubians, I'm happy enough to let them live. They've been nice to me all game. Just randomly going to war with people I don't like. But the Canadians, we were at war with them. Now we're pieced out. Maybe we finish them off. Nobody really is safe, though. Even the Nubians are now unfriendly towards me and... Uh, the Portuguese have denounced me, despite only having 14 signs per turn. We used to be good buddies, but evidently not anymore. So I see the former um, Mali city of Beja is now seeking new governance. I can facilitate that sort of thing. See if we can at least uh, get one shot on the city here. Does a good bit to the defenses, but they do hurt, man, man. They do hurt. I see there's also some Mali unique chariot units, not chariot, cavalry units. Luckily, my unique unit, the MP, is essentially a pikeman, which obviously counters them very hard. That guy's done. Promotion available. Well done. All these fortifications, only 100 strength, which makes me happy. Because that means I should be able to actually get the cities down. I got myself a siege tower, and uh, the Zulus seem to be strong enough to handle that. Down to the south in Canberra. Man, they've got uh, renaissance walls here. It's a little bit too hard to actually get those cities, so... That's why I've made peace with my man, John Curtin. Back on the home front, I'm trying to work my way up through the production levels now. Um, I had a lot of times when I was just simply building impi units over and over and over again. And look, the cities don't have much food here. No Bamba and Alundi, these are my two powerhouse cities. Both only at seven pop because the food just isn't there. So luckily we've got all of the districts built out here that we want. We got the Akandas, we needed that for building all those impi and industrial zone. That's just key for hitting this next era with industrialization. We'll be able to build some more buildings in there soon, but let's grab a spy in the meantime. Wow, we are raking in a ton of oil, and people want that stuff. Not going to give it into Varangian Herald, though. This guy over here, 95 science per turn. It's actually rivaling me. Right now, biggest opponents, the German Empire that we've met so far. Keep in mind, we haven't met that many dudes. But the Germans and also the Varangian Herald of Norway. I need to explore more of the world, though. Um, I should actually be getting this galley right here upgraded. Only 360 to become a caravel. Let's do this. We'll move you along. Upgrade a caravel. And you'll just, like, explore these high seas. Try and meet some people. Uh, and see what we're really up against in terms of a global competition. Because right now, it's kind of hard to say. Anyways, got myself a free builder. And I'm going to keep firing down on this city. Luckily, my dudes are getting promotions all the damn time. Keeps them nice and healthy. I love that. And even up in the north by Kawa, dude, we have so many farms. I feel like I should have another siege tower, though. Oh, that siege tower's up in the north. That's why they don't have this. Okay, this makes sense. So all we can really do is pillage out the enemy lands for whatever they have, which is good to me. We are going to get some gold just there. We're going to get some culture. I really want to get a bunch of culture, because look, where are we right now? At the Enlightenment? What I want is nationalism, dude. We're so close. 16 turns. Versus two turns here. And we can use a Cassus Belli to get that boost. So we're very close to getting all the way to armies. And if I click on Shaka here, you can see Ab Amavutho. Plus five base combat strength to cores and to armies. So I don't know if that's going to be another plus five. I don't think so. But getting these MP one more level stronger, going to be sweet. A key thing of these MP is that the cost to maintain them is low. Look, I'm only gaining 36 gold per turn. So if I ever do upgrade these guys, it's going to cost me quite a bit of the golds. And what's this? I have a settler for some reason in the north. I guess I might as well send you towards this fertile lands. Just randomly capture some of these AI guys, and you don't really know what to do with them. Well, the uh, not looking good on the loyalty, though. I think my dudes need to heal up a little bit and move on. Move towards some bigger cities to capture. 
But this needs to be done pretty quick, my man. Pretty quick. Because if we don't get more pop under our control, like a city of Soto, 200 fortification health. That's a little bit rough. Let me get a Zulu man in the city. Heal himself up. This guy's almost full health. You can move along. Oh, these mans are healing up. This is tough. Might end up losing the city after all. That's just life for a warmonger like me, though. Cities don't want to be under your control, but you just keep capturing them over and over again. In Niani, the market's only four gold to grab. Then I'm going to grab Monument for more of that sweet culture. And then transition into University. This city right here, only seven production, dude. I'm very confused. They have 12 dudes. They're all just working straight food tiles. They eh? straight food. They don't call it the bread basket of America for nothing. There's plenty of food out there. Okay, MP taking city shots, but they don't do too much. Only 14 damage on my guy. Let's move you a little bit closer. There we go. Get some vision. That is sweet. I've even got some backup coming in looking good. Now, what is this? Some kind of world congress? An aid request to, for me? This is perfect, man. Let's add this proposal in here. I've got a sneaking suspicion. People aren't going to want to help me out that much, but it is what it is. Let's look back over to this free city of Beja. Dude, I want this loyalty, and I want it now. Okay, if I go fight the city one time with this dude, it is an insta-kill. Let's go ahead and do that. Nope, very close to insta-kill, but not quite. What if we send you in the city to finish it off? Beautiful, so you're protected. That just evaporated the enemy uh, crossbowman, evidently. And this loyalty is killer, man. Minus 18 in Beja. Minus 7.3 in Giarda. Niani, minus 9.3. Tad Mecca. They're even losing 0.2 uh, two loyalty per turn. I think I need to go after this Nubian city here. Let me go ahead and denounce, buddy guy. Um, no, yes, denounce. Bye-bye. This is a key bit of loyalty to help me out. Anyways, we'll keep this city falling at 18 per turn. That's insane. I think I might need to move Victor, but I just don't know. If I move him out of here, the city will definitely fall to loyalty. So maybe I keep him in here and we just see what happens in North America. We just see how it goes, man. What I'll always be able to do in the meantime is pillage, which is sweet. Got the enlightenment. Uh, I don't think I need any of these things. Do we need to change any policies, though? No, I don't think so. We're doing quite well with what we got so far. Uh, about an extra 30 production. Extra yields from those raids. A little bit of gold. 21 science. And praetorium? Hmm. Maybe we could do something better than that. But we do actually need these... Uh, governor's exactly where we want them. We got Magnus. You are where in Mabanza and Sunni. Um, do you need to be there, my friend? Looks like another loyalty situation, but maybe doesn't need to be there. This guy doesn't need it. Reyna, you get moving, buddy. You don't need to be in that spot. You can go all the way down to Beja because they need that loyalty as much as possible. For my guys in Kawa, though, just a matter of time waiting on this siege tower to finally come up and provide some backup. Campus complete a new castle. That's good to see. Another situation of low food, though. Low food. I really would have been smart to get to myself um, a harbor just to make all these sea tiles a little bit more plentiful. But that is in the past. Maybe we get a harbor next. That way your city can at least grow to the next size to get more population growth. A little bit of production, not a ton. Let me purchase out a monument here in Beja and tell them to get to work on the ancient walls just in case those Canadians have a couple of ideas. Okay, someone fired at me from across the water. Not too sure what the heck that was, but it was not fun. But he took quite a bit of damage. Menelik going for a peace offer in that Ethiopian Alaska lands. Yes, vote for aid request. Thank you very much. Do people want to support the warmonger? Let's see. Yep, all they really want is Diplo points. That's all they really are in the game for. I understand. I we industrialization. We should find out where the coal is. I see four. Four of these leaves here. So let's see where we have coal. One here in Beja. This is why uh, we conquer all the cities we can. Let's con let's get some of that coal under our control. Another here in Napata. I just got a mine there last turn. Get another mine next door. And where's the next coal? Under Nobamba. So we're collecting. And then a third under the forest here. They just send this builder up there to clear that out and secure us that coal income. That is beautiful, though. I believe Nobamba also got... They did not get an industrial zone. Okay, so Alundi, that is definitely what's next after the spy. Let's queue you up a factory, dude. Anyways, in Kawa, I'm not sure who was shooting at me from across the river, but I can tell you as much as I did not like it. I'll be fortified by the city, and next turn you can just go and uh, eat yourself some of that sweet food. Looks to me like the siege tower is two or three turns out. That is going to take a while. In the meantime, though, we just surround and we pillage whatever valuables we can from this place. We did lose a wild card, though. I feel like that was uh, factory adjacency bonuses. No, we already have that. What was this? It gave me a lot of production. Oh, I think it was uh, just our standard old urban planning from the Stone Age. I guess you can't bring that into the new era. Tough one. 
Anyways, instead I'll toss in uh, Limitani, get myself a little bit more loyalty where I really need it in some of these cities, which I definitely do need more loyalty in a lot of these cities, man. Oh, what is this? The Ethiopians coming down for a forward settle on me. No chance, buddy, no chance. That's a free city, that's a free city. It's gonna hurt my loyalty for a second though. Anyways, finish industrialization. What should be next? Should we backtrack and get some stuff? Gunpowder, knights, ah, uh, none of these are too necessary in my opinion. I say we just skip on ahead, keep moving forward. Um, let's grab flight. This will give us lots of planes. We'll get the observation balloon and it turns pretty quickly into a couple things I want. Rocketry and advanced flight. I would love to turn this army into a land, maybe sea, but definitely air. Get those bombers cruising in while my MP go and capture things. The thing is though, also, you know, I should get this research lab, get myself a lot more science. So it's tough on which direction to go. If I go with the research lab, man, it's gonna take a lot, a lot of text to get there. Wow, we're gonna go all the way back to the medieval era. Whew. You know what, that's probably the right decision though. Let's go get these research labs, focus on the future. We have been specializing super hard to get to this point of unlocking the coal and all that good stuff. Oh, a new museum, we've got opera and ballet. Wonder where that museum was created. I was telling some of my northern places to build art museums. Aha, I found it. Must have been Tad Mecca all along. Oh, nice to see these guys also have an industrial zone. We'll get another factory. Siege Tower moves up. That is exactly the uh, critical path for us. Getting Siege Towers in place to actually go and do our offensive. We do have a stupid amount of MPs in the back, though. Why don't I just have this guy go back here, chill out, reduce that uh, loyalty burden by quite a bit. Niani has another dude that should help them out in just a second. And everyone else just surrounds Kawa. After that, Moreau will be next. We're just trying to secure all the loads we, we can in this Central American region. As you can see, the cities are having quite a tough time. Up in the north, though, we can try and get greedy, do some pillaging. Well, Dia is now positive loyalty, despite the city down here, Dear Dawa being founded right next to my Zulu settler. Not cool, my man, not cool. So we would technically have some time to capture this city, but I don't think I want to mess around, man. Let's just get to work on these dudes. Not, not much of the defense is going down, but health down by about half. And I got one, two fellas coming up the rear here to give me some reinforcement. Uh-huh, another cavalry unit coming out. It's not the right stuff, man. These guys need to be building a little bit smarter than that. I know it's a unique unit, but it doesn't do so well against my MPs, does it? These Ethiopians putting up a good fight, though, with these city walls. My one guy's got to go back home. Get out of there, bud. And then the next man comes in as the reinforcements. And the third dude just makes sure that city health goes down, down, down. Might be kind of slow, but it's going down. The last thing we can let it do is heal back up. Who should I spy on? Canberra here. Uh, commercial hub, something I might want to go after. 400 gold. If I go after the Netherlands, I got even more gold. So let's go there. I'm very curious to see what the Netherlands uh, land looks like. Because they have this city here. But dude, they have 70 science and 60 culture. 70 culture also per turn. And I only see the one city. So maybe they have some things uh, in the Caribbean, possibly. Anyways, Kawa fully now under siege, and my troops are ready to do the damage. Let's have this guy fight, fight, three fights. Oh my gosh, these, these walls hurt, bro. These walls hurt. I like those first tier walls a lot nicer on my guys' faces when I go in for the attacks. I'll even do one more. This dude will probably die, but I got an MP coming up the back, so it should be okay. I didn't realize I'd need all these guys, but the city's putting up a fight. Okay, evidently my previous trade route has been completed. Not sure where that trader was going from in Pinda, but I'll send the next trade route up to Desi here just to get a little bit nicer logistics roads going up here to the north. Because right now it's pretty hard to get my units up there. Oh, they were building the trader. That makes a lot of sense. These guys already have two sites down, the campus and the holy site. So waiting for that seven population to build another district is going to take a while. They are even focusing food, but only 3.4 on that food surplus. I think the best thing for a little bit to work on, let's do 24 turns worth of campus research grants. Now Mabanza Mabata on the other hand, they can actually build something. Do I go all the way for the theater square? Or maybe I should go industrial zone and just get more of this power around more of the empire. So let's see, this is industrial zone down here by Alundi. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this city would actually, one, two, three. Yeah, this city's actually in range. And I'm thinking so would a lot of these southern fellas, but up to the north, it would be a lot sparser. So let's first go to manage citizens and we'll swap one tile. We'll swap a couple more. Maybe this one right here. That's a good place to put an industrial zone. 
There we go. And that should reach quite far north, all the way to Mabenzo Weibo and Kabasa, I believe, also in range. One, two, three, four, five, six tiles away. That's beautiful. Oh, Ludwig's declared war on Wilhelmina. This was a few turns ago, but that'll be an interesting war to watch out for because these dudes are right next to each other. And Ludwig is stronger, but Wilhelmina, she's uh, got some pretty favorable lands here, especially if she's got the stronger navy, as Ludwig is more of a continental man there. Okay, lost one of my MPs. It is what it is. Kind of had to expect that. Oh, and my other MP barely survived. Two health, classic two health MP survival, man. These guys know how to do it. So funny to see all these civs that did this uh, military emergency on me now, trying to become friends, or at least not be at war. It's like, but this wasn't supposed to be the case. Aha, promote an existing governor. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to appoint a governor who is just dying of loyalty right now. Let me zoom out real quick. Looks like the Southeast doing a rough. Well, Dia will be okay. But Guarda and Niani, they could both use them out. Falling at 1.6 per turn, falling at 9.1 point turn here in Niani. Let's slide you right in there, buddy guy. And when I get my Zulu MP in here, okay, we're going to be doing a lot better. Plus 12.9 per turn. That's beautiful. And finally, we're almost able to deal with Kawa. My dudes just have to heal up one time. Okay, run, my man. And get someone else to slide in here. Pillars of the road. Oh, the food's already been taken. Okay, you guys need to swap out. And we need to do a one-time smack. You can go eat up this farm. Or maybe go over one tile and you'll survive. Eat up the farm next turn to get another dude come in. Take a shot on the city. And wow, if we were a little bit less defensive and risk-averse, we probably could have just taken the city outright. Oh, well. Dang, campus complete in Quila here. Good for these guys. We'll go on to the library route. Don't need too much of the encampment stuff. I've already got a couple of condas back home in my big cities. Ooh, people getting shot all over, but my man survived. Oh no, but my buddy died in the north. That dude was a fully promoted guy. I thought everything was gonna be fine. He would have just barely enough health to survive, but evidently not, my man, evidently not. Let's cruise in for two strikes on the city. We better get this done before our dudes all die off. Perhaps we should have taken that peace deal when we got the chance. We do have some oil up here though, so maybe we can convince ourselves it's worth it for that oil. Anyways, Kawa will finally be ours, but first I'm going to pillage as many of these farms as I can. Um, that way my next advance will be even swifter and even stronger. There we go. Kawa, goodbye, Molly. This guy was crushing earlier on in the game. Thought he would be way too hard to conquer, but once we got going after the Congo and everyone declared war on me, well, then it was pretty clear that I would be able to survive this onslaught. Anyways, the Nubians are next. So, without resting, the Siege Tower moves forward one time. Liang, it looks like Niani's doing just fine. Guarda, yeah, maybe we put a guy in there. Got us going from plus three to plus 11, although Kawa also not doing so hot. You know what, Kawa might be a bigger problem further on because it's by the Canadians, which we don't actually have a plan to conquer this minute. So I figure getting the loyalty up here. Down on the south, uh, I mean, next up is Nubia, right? So these cities are all gonna have a lot more loyalty pressure. If you just look and hover over with this sweet UI, I'm losing five loyalty per turn from Nubia and four loyalty per turn from Nubia over here. So that's gonna flip very soon. The bigger issue though in Beja, now this guy is actually gaining loyalty, which is beautiful to see. I'm losing 1.9 to Nubia, so we'll have a little bit of an uh, uh, improvement there. Uh, but going after Portugal will be the key to maintaining this city's loyalty. Oh, another library complete and Napata, good job. Let's get, sorry, campus. Let's get the library down. That's gonna be big adjacency bonuses though. A 10 campus science right there with my double uh, adjacency bonus card. Oh, buddy, it's not looking good in Soto. It's not looking good. Will my dude even survive? I'm losing some very experienced troops here. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, let's go and make the peace, man. Let's make the peace. And never mind, hold on one second. Let me move my guys to the border uh, so that they don't get shot behind these annoying mountains because I doubt he's gonna wanna have open borders after this. But let's make peace. It's also gonna give me some luxuries. Dude, I have so many luxuries. This is ridiculous. Dang, my guy still got sent to the north. That sucks. Um, we'll just have to figure this out. Can we actually, we're just unfriendly. Can we have open borders real quick? Yeah, my man, yeah, my man, there we go. I should sell off some stuff though, quick deals. I got way too many things. There's 45 gold per turn. There's 17. Selling stuff off to the Nubians too, even though they're gonna be gone in a few minutes. Anyways, that will be the conclusion of the Northern War. Zooming out a bit here, we pretty much got all the lands we wanted except for a couple of these Ethiopian cities that would have been nice. We did capture all of the Congos though, so the Ethiopians were just a cherry on top. 
Anyways, Nubia, how long? Oh, I can declare a form of war this turn. It's gonna be going down. These guys military strength 205. They do have crossbowmen all over the place which is a bit scary because those guys hurt. Indeed, they hurt. The biggest performance indicator though, fortification health of only 100, means we should be able to slap this city down pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and declare this formal war here. That's actually gonna give me, just watch this, declare the war. That's gonna give me a uh, cultural boost. Where's the cultural boost, man? Nationalism right there, five more turns. Then we're gonna have armies and these MP are gonna be even stronger. Let's send our dudes in the only one step at a time, sadly, because of this encampment sitting right here. Screwing me over. All good, all good. I got backup, though. We got backup, fellas. <laughs> Actually, army is a little bit smaller than I remember it. So we have this guy coming in. Guarda, I think you still need the MP. Beja, you need an MP guy sitting here. There is these three fellas in the no four fellas in the north that can start moving their way back, but they're going to be a while to get back to Quila. Let's see if we can conquer the city before we run out of units. Newcastle done the library. Let's get on to the university now. And this was, again, another one of these beautiful campuses. A plus four adjacency bonus doubled up to eight. Let me just see how the Nubians respond to my aggression here. They have so many uh, crossbowmen. Dang. They shooting. They shooting. MP core almost destroyed in a single turn. Oh my gosh. He did get a promotion though. Thank goodness. These crossbows hurt though. And this guy can pillage to heal up. Is that going to be enough though? I think it might be smarter just to back off all the way to the city. Send a different man's in there. I try to actually kill off some of these units. So to the south, we got this horseman that, you know, can go and fight one time. Maybe I go around though, try to avoid some city strikes if we can. Up in the north, maybe I can skirt by through the Canadian lands if I just get myself some open borders with these fellas. Oh yeah, look at this going all the way around on them. I like that. And this MP core can, hmm, do we want to keep them nearby for at least one of these guys support bonus, right? Maybe we just let you chill right here. And I do have an extra crossbowman that I can have step towards these fellas. We'll see if they can do anything useful. Campus complete in Notawengu. A nice little chill one by these mountains. Plus two, AKA plus four science. Quila done their monument. Sorry, Kawa, not Quila, done their monument. Good to see these guys have not too bad of a loyalty issue here. In fact, this whole ring of loyalty has gotten a little bit better since we've captured Kawa. Oh boy, looks like they're coming after me now. Going up a city of Kawa. This is not looking so good, not at all. May have overestimated how good my MPs were, in fact. Seems like the army has actually shrunk a little bit since its old glory days. We will be able to get one crossbowman out of here, though, without spending any strikes from my MP. Good to see. Back in Kawa, we have a fairly easy dub on a horse. I like to see that. And then in Mero, we'll get a couple dudes next to each other for that added support bonus and start firing at these crossbowmen. Promotion available. Promotion not available for this guy, which is weird because I thought he had one a second ago. Maybe it was this dude instead. I could have been wrong. Regardless, we'll keep moving in towards the city. Trying to avoid uh, this encampment as much as we can. Just ignore it. Pretend it's not there. And why not? Let's finish off this crossbowman here. The Hell's Blazers. This makes sense why there's so many crossbowmen because they had those Mapiti or MP, MPT warriors. Petiti. Those really nice archers that, uh, you know, now the crossbowman makes a lot of sense. Okay, now on the spying front, let me start by gaining sources here. I've still not found the other um, uh, Netherland at cities. Not sure where those live. I would guess one down here. I see the borders are quite expansive. And it's funny, you can get really high, as a DDI, of course, you can get really high science and culture with like two cities. Like just look at the Australians here. They're doing pretty well for themselves. A few nice canal spots are like, this is a great canal city. It's just natural. Even Melbourne, you could put a canal in like right here. And if we want to get some kind of naval power, that is definitely something we want to look into. Being able to go on the, the west and the east side of the Americas. So glad that these guys have tons of farms for me to eat, though. Perfect job, fellas, preparing for an invasion. That's a free 750 health. And I can even start shooting at the city. One and a two. Defense is not taking much of a hit, even though the fortification health is only 100, so only ancient walls. Not anything crazy like those medieval walls I was dealing with. Didn't like those. I even got more guys coming through. I guess the worries were a little bit unfounded. That's perfect. Damn, they really went after my dude. Crushed him. So many range strikes, but it won't be enough for you. And the fact that your crossbowman's now out of his little hut. Be careful, buddy. Be careful. Because we are coming for him. Let me do a little walk and shoot. Walk and shoot. And walk. This guy can just walk in and shoot. And we finish them off very closely, but not quite. One and two. That will be it for the Nubians. Nice knowing you. The Nubians, man, a lot of respect this game. 
But he's had literally no cities because of loyalty, just couldn't keep them, but kept going to war with everybody. They were going to war with the Congo, going to war with the Portuguese, the Mali. Just absolute belligerent fellas, these guys. I love it. Great to have the city under control, though. Now, Kawa, huge loyalty going up at 19 per turn. Even Beja over here, plus four. Now, let's just finish this turn and call it a day. University, for sure. I want as much of that science as I can get. Looks like I'm getting myself some more marble. I've got way too many of these luxuries. I can't even sell them all away, man. The biggest uh, shame of all of these things... Let me get my crossbowman down to the south. The biggest shame of this turn is that, well, the yeah here doesn't look like I'll be able to hold this city down. I'm going to have to retreat. Get my dudes out of here. Get them as far away from the city as possible. And uh, maybe we take it back and raise the city or try and hold it a second time. But it is too bad we weren't able to keep these guys under our control. Victor 2, let's move you, my friend, over to DC. There we go. I'm sure that city will have a bit of loyalty problems soon, too. Factory complete in Ulundi, so coal power plant next, obviously. Another thing I would like to build, though, is um, a few more impi because with this nationalism being able to turn into armies, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six impi here, seven, eight, and then another one, two, three to the north. So 11 units that could be upgraded and two armies. To actually do that though, I'm just gonna need to build a whole bunch of regular Joes. And finally, I can swap out tiles, let's go. So finally conquering uh, the Mali, I can swap out tiles here. Before, I was not allowed to because this Tad Mecca was a city that was conquered. I feel like there's some really good science opportunities here. So let me just go click. Campus, what do we have? Plus four next to the geothermal fissure and this campus plus having two districts next to each other here on this campus will give me an extra plus one science oh but there's also a plus four right next to me uh just because of the synchronicities of this campus down here let's run it up beautiful hey is our peter nice to meet you man finally meeting some more people looks like my uh my caravel has searched some good parts of the lands nationalism unlocked musket unlocked a lot of new cards and armies anyways thanks for watching guys had a good time here today. Just captured Kawa and Moreau. Solidified my hold here on the central of the Americas with all this extra loyalty. Looking forward, I think we give Lisbon the same treatment, although it's not nearly as important as it was in Moreau because, look, all they've got here is a little bit of faith. And what is this? Some di Oh, a campus, actually. Never mind. Because that is a campus. Oh, never. Oh, just kidding. These guys are all getting flooded soon. So not too much value in Lisbon. Now that we got the loyalty situation figured out, I do need to figure out long term though what my plans for expansion are because these places in Australia beautifully built up spaces moving on down towards South America too where we have some tougher competition like the Germans. These guys are keeping up with me in science and in culture. They're going to war right now with the Netherlands trying to expand their lands and we need to make sure that we're the dominant force at least here in America if not for the whole world. Anyways, thanks for watching Panda Gang. See you later. Peace. Thanks for watching Panda Gang. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.